Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com, and welcome to another episode of The John Morris Show. And in this episode, I'm going to be answering another one of your questions, and the question is, what makes a great web developer? And so I'm going to be taking a little different approach to answering this question because I think a lot of people think about this in the wrong way. And so I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe makes a great web developer and then give you some tips for implementing the plan that I'll lay out for you. All right, so if you want to know what makes a great web developer, be sure to stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by the Complete Web Developers Course taught by Rob Percival on Udemy.com. Now, what I love about this course is first how comprehensive it is. It's 235 lectures on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, WordPress, PHP, MySQL, APIs, and mobile apps. I mean, it's ridiculous. Second, I love how good of a teacher Rob is. As a former school teacher, Rob knows how to explain complex concepts in ways anyone can understand. And of course, the cool thing is I talked Rob into giving my audience an 85% discount on the course. So check the description of this video for a special link that contains a coupon code good for 85% off of the Complete Web Developers course by Rob Percival. Click that link and you'll be all set for the discount. Now, on to the episode. All right, so what makes a great web developer? Well, I believe that the standard advice is that a great web developer is defined by how technically skilled they are. If you were to ask most seasoned or professional developers that question, the responses you would get would re revolve around technical subjects. They would be things like, he has a deep knowledge of HTML and CSS, <laughs> or she's an excellent debugger, or he knows PHP like the back of his hand, or he's well-versed in Angu Angular JS, or he's really great with HTTP. Things of that nature are generally the answers that you will receive. But to me, those things aren't what make a great web developer. Now, certainly, your technical skill is important. It matters. It's not that it doesn't matter. It does. But that's a prerequisite. Technical skill isn't what makes you great. Technical skill is what makes you a developer. What makes you great are what I would call your soft skills. Are you focused? Are you driven? Are you detail oriented? Are you reliable? Do you communicate well? Are you easy to work with? Do you learn new things quickly? These are the questions that define greatness. You know, Michael Jordan is known as one of, if not the greatest basketball players of all time. And when we as fans watch him on the court, we all marveled at how athletic he was and how he was able to deliver in crunch time. But if you listen to his coaches and teammates, they would mention those things, but the things that stuck out to them more were how fiercely competitive he was, even in practice, and the work ethic that he had. Most of the stories that you'll hear about him from his teammates and, and coaches revolve around things that happened in practice that demonstrate just how competitive he was and how bad he wanted to win. And how willing he was to put in the work, the, the work or the effort in order to get there. One of those stories is about when he tried to play baseball and he was having trouble hitting. He was struggling with his hitting. And he used to stay, he used to come in hours before everybody else and go in the batting cage and practice his swing, trying to improve his hitting. And then as soon as practice was, was over, he would stay for hours afterwards and do the exact same thing. If you talk to his basketball teammates, they'll tell you the same thing, that he was always the first one to arrive at practice, and he is always the last one to leave. So it wasn't the mechanics of his jump shot or his drive to the lane, which was wicked, <laughs> that made him great. It was the work ethic and competitiveness behind him that made the great jump shot 
or the drive to the lane unstoppable or that made him devastating in crunch time. It was the work ethic and competitiveness that led to all of the things that we as fans saw on the court. And it's the same with developers. Your technical skill isn't what makes you great. Your technical skill is a byproduct of your greatness. Who you are is what matters, not what you know. So how do you cultivate greatness in yourself? Well, recognition that it's important and that it's not all about technical skill is a good first step. But it first requires a deep commitment. So are you willing to spend the hours obsessing over a line of code to make it work? Are you willing to embrace the buck stops here mentality that your clients or your boss or whoever you're working with is ultimately going to expect from you as a developer? Are you willing to learn whatever's necessary in order to deliver like you said you would? Those are the things that start to define greatness. From there, it's focus. Can you block out all the external distractions and actually get to work so that you can deliver quickly and what you deliver comes from being in the flow as opposed to coming from being distracted and disjointed and all over the place? Can you temper the internal distractions that would stop you, all the things inside that would keep you from being focused, that would keep you from getting your work done? Can you temper those things and control those things and get to work? Do you know who you are and the art that you want to give? Or are you dabbling in a bunch of different things and don't really know what you want and what you want to do? Finally, it's work ethic. Are you willing to push your limits? Are you willing to go further than what maybe you think you can? Are you willing to be the first to arrive and the last to leave? Are you willing to work harder than every other developer out there in order to be great? Are you willing to put in whatever hours are necessary in order to deliver like you said you would? Because clients, bosses, teammates, they don't really care how many hours you've worked. What they care about is the result that you deliver. So are you willing to put in whatever hours it takes in order to deliver the result that they expect and go beyond and surprise and shock them with what you deliver? So it's commitment, it's focus, it's work ethic. Those are the things that make great developers and frankly, those are the things that make great people. And in your development career, those are the things that you should focus on. Because when you do, the technical skill will be a natural byproduct. And if you're a great person, you'll be a great developer. Now, if you have a question for me, you can head on over to core.com and ask me your question over there. So if you go to johnmorrisonline.com slash Cora, that'll take you to my profile and you can invite me to answer your question over there. Or you can tweet me on Twitter at JP Morris or over on facebook.com slash johnmorrisonline. You can send me your message and I'll try to get all of those on the show. If you like this episode, be sure to go ahead and like it so that I know this is the kind of content that you appreciate. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the episodes or tutorials that I release. Finally, if you haven't yet, head on over to johnmorrisonline.com and download my free seven strategies to turn your code into cash cheat sheet, where I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions for monetizing your coding skills. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time.